the title of today's devotion is, guess what? Wrong conclusion. So the scripture reading for this devotion is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. And the Bible says, the time has come for judgment, and it must begin first among God's own children. And if we Christians must be judged, what a terrible fate awaits those who never believed God's good news. Can you imagine saying you're a Christian and never believing God's good news? It happens. Some people just have a knack for not getting things right. They may make some good observations, but they regularly come up with the wrong conclusions and guarantee themselves a complicated and difficult life. Here's a story that illustrates that point. A drunken man got on a bus late one night, staggered up the aisle, and sat next to a woman who was clutching a Bible. She looked the wayward drunk up and down and said, I've got news for you, mister. You're going straight to hell. The man jumped up out of his seat and shouted, Oh man, I'm on the wrong bus again. This man reached the wrong conclusion about his observation. And his conclusion has eternal consequences. At the end of our lives, we will all give an answer for the conclusions that we came to. Will you base your conclusions on your own faulty thinking or on the truth of the word of God? Lord, help me to trust the truth of your word more than that of my own faulty conclusions. Amen. And remember, we always want our conclusions to be sound on the word of God, especially regarding eternal life. Once you take your last breath, that's it. There is no second chance. There is no go back and do over. If that's your last breath, that's it. So I thank you for this time of fellowship. God bless you, and I hope you have a great day.